women. That's what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, get action with the women. All they got is two minutes to work. And they going to work right now. Nice body shot there from Sinisa. Yeah, you know, it's closing strong here in round number 10, putting hands on Sinisa. But here comes Sinisa Strada. She knows that her people made the drive from LA to support her. And she's not gonna punk out here. She got Danny Trejo out here, Machete, one of her really good friends. Oh, nice right hand from Villarino. What a great round for Villarino to show what she's capable of here in the close of this fight. She's not taking anything back home with her to Argentina. She's leaving it all in the ring. Here's the flurry from Villarino, and this is how this fight's gonna end. Good matchup. Great matchup. Great fight. Sinise Estrada comes back after almost 11 months away from the ring. And she does an impressive job here tonight against a very game and tough Jasmine Gala Villarino. What impressed you about what you saw tonight from both fighters? The skill, the skill level. I, I think women's boxing, the skill level has definitely, it, it, it's climbed, it's at a new height. Um, you know, watching, you know, the ones that come in, like Michaela Mayer sitting right next to us, ton of skill. Uh, Baumgartner, ton of skill. Um, you know, the same thing with Anise, uh, Sinisa, her skill level is, is, you know, you see, like, people at home basically see her just throwing punches. But what I see is, I see a lot of shifting. I see a lot of these small little nuances that she does inside the ring that makes her who she is, special, truly special, you know. Um, and I think if these women continue to grow this skill set and if we can get three-minute rounds and fail to drop the glove size and give them a better chance at producing knockouts, I think women boxing go a lot further than where it is right now. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's take match. a listen to what Mark Chinook has on I mean, the scorecard. The fight hasn't started yet for some reason. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds here inside the Pearl Concert Theater boy. at Palms Casino Resort, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Max DeLuca, Chris Migliori, and Patricia Morse Jarman all score the bout 100 to 90 for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBA minimum weight champion of the world, Senisa Superbad Estrada. Look, Senisa came in here tonight and looked great, but it was not a 100 to 90 fight. I think that, <laughs> you, know, you gotta give Jasmine Villarino a little bit of credit for coming in here yeah. and giving her a hard fight. But in the end, Sinisa is the winner in her top ranked debut. Mark Kriegel with the champ. Sinisa, congratulations. Every fight's a story. What story did you tell tonight? You know what? <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's been an emotional week for me because it's been 328 days since I've been out of the ring. And um, I just want to tell all girls and all women in sports to always believe in yourself, always believe in what you can do, and always go after what you want. <laughs> I might have been slowed down, but I can't be stopped. This is what I was born to do. This is the talent that God has given me. And this is my destiny, and you cannot stop destiny. I want to thank my team. I couldn't do this without you guys. Um, my team is amazing, and I'm just happy to be back. What do we not know? about what you went through the last 11 months? 
But it was very frustrating. Frustrating to stay out of the ring. Why but not only did I do it for myself, but I did it for all the future of women's boxing, all young girls coming up, and all women in the sport. You know, um, me, Michaela, Clarissa, Amanda, and all the top women in boxing are here to change things. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to fight for the younger generation, not only myself. Assess your performance tonight after 11 months away. After 11 months, I mean, I wouldn't, we, were, we were prepared for her to come in and win because I'm the best opponent she's faced and, and she, she wants to defeat me. So I was prepared to either to go 10 rounds or to, or to, get, to get the knockout. I mean, I never trained to get the knockout. I trained to, to prepare for 10 rounds and I won every one tonight. So shut the ring, shake the ring rust off and I'm ready to go for unification fights and undisputed. You landed 51% of your power punches and they're long shots. I've never seen anyone land those shots with that type of consistency. Where did that come from? That's how we train. We train in uh, sparring. I sparred 120 rounds, and yeah. every round we, we, we critique myself on consistency. That's the most important thing is to be consistent because even though I was out of the ring for 328 days, I'm consistent in my training and in the gym. So it's that show tonight. Hey, congratulations. You were great tonight. Great fight. Bernie, back to you. Thank you, Mark. And this leads us towards tonight's main event. It'll be Janabek Alimhanala putting his WBO middleweight title on the line against Denzel Bentley. For now, we have a party with Danny Trejo still in the ring with the champion, Sinisa Estrada. So, Tim, what are your last thoughts before we get to the main event? What are you anticipating will happen in this ring? And since, uh, what I know okay. is going to happen. It's going to be a knockout. I want to continue really? to see... Janet Beck, and I understand we're calling her the boogeyman. I get that. I want to see him to knock these type of opponents out. Just keep stacking his chips. There's a lot of champions out there that, that think that they, they pretend to be the boogeyman and don't want to fight the best guys out there. That's not the, that's not the case with this man. He wants to fight the best guys out there. He wants all the smoke, but nobody want to get in the ring with him because too much risk, a little bit of reward. Now you don't get paid to face him. So. Keep knocking them out. Triple G went through the same thing. He's a countryman, fellow countryman. Keep knocking them out. Keep winning. Keep building. Building your credibility. And eventually, one of these guys will step up and face you. 12 victories, 8 knockouts. Violent evening. Alim Hanala makes no excuses. He's fought through hand, elbow, and rib injuries. Tonight, he says he's fully healthy, and he anticipates an early night. Let's see if that happens in tonight's main event. Top-ranked boxing on ESPN, our main event when we return. Throwing the best. Said he's hard. Look at this attack here. He's ready for this moment right now. Oh, he's fight like this all night long. Capitals. Alex Ovechkin. Gordy Howe's on deck. Lightning. What timer? Stanko score. Future Hall of Famers collide tomorrow on ESPN. That is hockey. It's big, it's back, and it's still six dollars. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeyes. is never small when a gift says so much. Etsy has it. It's a beautiful time for basketball. A night of dynamic duos. And championship contenders, Celtics, Hawks, and Warriors, Suns, Wednesday.
change is coming. Everyone is ready for Monday Night Football. The Washington Commanders meet the Eagles. Janibik Alim Khanala. Hard to pronounce, but more than that, a name no one wants to speak. And certainly not the other champions. Contenders, too. Somehow they can all say his name and his. I get it. He's from a land far away. Southpaw knows his craft. It's hard. Real hard. Only won his belt by abdication. I guess you could call him an email champ. Just wouldn't do it to his face. So, who will fight him? Forget it. Nope. Interesting. Conceivable. Well, he is the mandatory. Look at that uppercut! Biz любой чемпиондарга даймыз, жүз пайз даймыз. Менің өнерімді әлем көру керек. In the meantime, line him up, put him down. Does this guy have a shot tonight? Denzel Bentley! Well, better than the fighters who won't say his name. Repeat after me. Janibik Alim Khanala. Don't know what it means in his native tongue, but in English, it's the guy nobody wants to fight. Top Rank Boxing on ESPN Plus is presented by AutoZone. Get in the zone. And tonight we come to you from Las Vegas inside the newly renovated Palms Resort and Casino, the Pearl Theater, where we will see action. Janabek Alemhanala lands on 52.4% of his power punches, but look at the body punch ratio at 35.1 of Denzel Bentley. And here is the aforementioned fighter straight out of London, Denzel Bentley, the current British middleweight champion. This is the first world title fight of his career, and the odds stand against him. He is the perennial underdog at plus 1,000. But he says, I know people don't expect anything from me, but that means that I can surprise everyone tonight with my performance. And this is a special moment for any fighter. He came across the pond to make his dream come true against Janabek Alemhanala. Other fighters don't want to step in the ring with him. He says, I've been studying him for a while now. I knew that our paths would cross and that I would be right here fighting him for this belt. Nicknamed Too Sharp. Reminds me of Mark Too Sharp Johnson back in the day. More on boxing. One of the sharpest 112 pounders in history. And we'll see just how sharp Denzel Bentley can be tonight. And here is Janavek Alem Hanala. 2000, minus 2000 favorite. Saeed Tamugai bringing out his newly minted and printed WBO middleweight title. Last time he saw him, it was May 21st, down the street at the Resorts World Casino, and he was fighting for the vacant belt that we all knew that Demetrius Bubu Andre would vacate rather than fight him for. He said, I'm going to move up to 68 and fight the champion there. Guess mm. what? That didn't happen either. And here he is, a fully minted champion, ready to make his first world title defense. The Kazakh flag says, Triple G is Mexican style on Kazakh style. What does that mean? It's the mix of all the boxing styles that make me great. And guess what? There's power behind those shots. 
Six consecutive knockouts for Alim Hanala, looking to make it seven tonight in our main event as he defends his world title. Stone Cold Face rocks in those gloves. And we're ready for tonight's main event with Mark Schindler. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome inside the Pearl Theater at Palms Casino Resort in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This is boxing. This is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter Mr. Bob Arum, brought to you this evening by AutoZone. Get in the zone. Our judges at ringside, Tim Cheatham, Dave Moretti, and Steve Weisfeld. And the man in charge at the sound of the bell, Mr. Celestino Ruiz. And now to everyone watching on ESPN Plus and to everyone here inside the Palms Casino Resort, this is boxing, this is top rank, and oh baby, this is the main event, 12 rounds for the WBO middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, presented in association with Frank Warren's Queensberry Promotions. He weighed in at 159 pounds, wearing gray and black trunks. His record, 17 victories, with only one defeat, one draw, 14 victories coming by way of knockout. He is a two-time British middleweight champion, making his first attempt at a world title from Battersea, London, England. Denzel Two Sharp Bentley. Introducing out of the red corner, he weighed in at 159.6 pounds, wearing orange trunks with white trim. His record is perfect. 12 fights, 12 wins, eight of those victories coming by way of knockout. He is a 2016 Olympian making his first world title defense. He is the reigning Defending 